Recession in real time. How big data can track the COVID slump to view the full article. Click the first link in the description below. This week it will be confirmed that Britain's economy is in the deepest recession for at least a century. Yet only a few days ago, the Bank of England heralded a return to growth, forecasting a more rapid recovery than previously feared. Official growth figures due to be published on Wednesday by the Office for National Statistics are expected to show a 21% plunge in gross domestic product, GDP, in the three months to June. After GDP slumped by 2.2% in the first quarter, this will confirm two consecutive quarters of falling output the technical definition of a recession. But long before the official economic data becomes available, early snapshots of activity have been being examined by the bank to determine the state of the economy right now, rather than a few weeks ago with a vast array of unusual information at its disposal, ranging from internet searches to road traffic patterns, restaurant bookings and cinema ticket sales. For the first time in millennia of economic events, the coronavirus pandemic could prove the first big data recession trackable in real time. It's unique in many respects, says Ruth Gregory, UK economist at consultancy Capital Economics. In previous recoveries we didn't have as much real-time information, so that has been a useful early indicator of where we're heading. That is not to say that scouring unusual data sources is entirely new. For centuries, Traders have monitored ships arriving at ports to gain an edge on their rivals, and counted cranes over cities or taxis outside city banks and law firms. The former U.S. Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan speculated that economic downturns could be measured by men's underwear suggesting that sales of boxer shorts and briefs fell when times were tough. Economists have drawn up the leading lipstick indicator to illustrate how sales of small luxuries increase when a downturn looms. While demand for haircuts falls in discount food this week it will be confirmed that Britain's economy is in the deepest recession for at least a century yet only a few days ago, the Bank of England heralded a return to growth, forecasting a more rapid recovery than previously feared to view the full article, click the first link in the description below.